I'm Ali Grayman. I'm an expert in OCD recovery because for the last 19 years, I've been helping people fully recover from OCD. If you would like to do personal coaching with me, all the information is on youhaveocd.com. You can sign up from there. Always remember that the more you push away OCD thoughts, or any thought for that matter, this is just how the brain operates, that the more you push away a thought, the stronger that thought will become and the more it will come in. It starts with this uh, pink elephant. Don't even want to bring it up because it's been so much talked about. But it really is how OCD operates. That the more you're like, I don't want to think about it. Please don't give me this thought. This is the scariest thought in the world. This is the worst possible thing that could ever happen. That's what you're going to get. But if you're like, I don't care, whatever. Stay, go, whatever it is, it's fine. Right When you act like this, passively, dismissively, your brain stops looking at this thought or feeling, if you have get feelings instead of thoughts, as an emergency. And instead of looks at it as like, oh, it must be not all that important. The person is not taking it seriously. Okay, we don't need to send it anymore. Like that. So you are steering this ship. If you keep underlining it, by placing importance on some random thought and me have this disturbing thought? What does this mean? That's what you're doing. Versus if you're like, oh yeah, my brain came up with this very interesting thought. Okay, whatever, right? Like kind of laugh at it. It doesn't mean anything. The only reason why it's repeating in your mind over and over again is because you keep reacting over and over again. So you underline, it repeats, because you underlined. Then it repeats, you underlined it again, again it repeats. So we're kind of doing this game situation where if you stop underlining it, it might repeat for a little while because of now a habit type of situation, but it will start to get less and less powerful and then stop altogether. Because again, like I tell you always, you are the one powering up this ship. So you have to take responsibility, accountability, do the tracking and the reducing. The point of tracking is to reduce how much you're letting yourself ruminate. The more you reduce, the better you're going to feel. Until there's nothing to reduce because you've got it to zero. And again, from my client's experience, I can tell you it is completely possible to reduce your behavior and reduce your anxiety from 8, 7 to 0, 1 in about 30 days. And I have tracking to prove that. I just don't share it publicly because, you know, it's not good. Um, But this is entirely possible. Thank you for listening. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If you would like to do private coaching with me, please sign up through youhaveocd.com. I'll see you tomorrow.